Joe, what are the high and low points for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in their 2018 draft class? Yeah, I think the Tampa Bay Buccaneers had a lot of needs going into the draft, and they very appropriately attacked them. Going ahead, getting that defensive line shored up with Vita Vea, a guy that's going to clog lanes. They got some playmakers in the secondary and Jordan, uh, Jordan Whitehead, as well as Carlton Davis, as well as MJ Stewart when they traded back from, uh, with Buffalo. Got a couple of additional second round picks, as well as improving the offensive line with Alex Kappa and getting a running back in Ronald Jones, something else that they needed. So Tampa Bay clearly identified their needs, attacked them, traded back a little bit, and still got great value. The low point? The low point was just that they didn't do much to help the, the pass rush. And they did a lot in free agencies to help that, but maybe maybe a late round rusher would have been something that got me excited. What's the draft grade here for the Bucks? Yeah, this is an A. Okay. Even though there wasn't any pass rush help, they, they really attacked everything else so well. That's an A for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers.